Rovangoma. How do you send your messages, Tate? Do you think you can do the old school way of sending messages? Uh, some of us were born in the 90s. We've been living the board, the old school way. We've been doing it what the old, old school, school way for the longest time. 90s is not old school. Yes, it is old school, guys. All right. If you if you Are remember you if you remember a time when you had to buy like when those buying bundles for for messages was a thing. <laughs> wow, you had part bundles. Of your life, you had bundles then that's in your what it time. Was. And then of course you know before before that they were like the letter things. You know, I got a, I got a letter. cell phone when I was like in my teens. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. Anyway, <laughs> good evening and welcome to uh, Afri Digital. It's our very first radio show. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're doing the things that need to be done. My name is Aura, and of course, I have Tate with me tonight. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Yeah, you good? Are you excited? <sighs> Guys, I, I, I think you, it's, it's on the live stream right now. Yeah. And uh, if you are tuning, if you if you can just tune in to uh, Every Digital on uh, Facebook, you'll be able to see my beautiful face. Uh huh. And the even more beautiful face of order. <laughs> if I'm like a, if I'm like an A, she's like an eleven out of ten. Guys. Oh so wow! If I you want to see her, if you want to see her, <laughs> we're live on Facebook right now. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. The first day of uh, Every Digital show, and man, I, there's so much that we can get into right now. Or I don't know where where, where could we possibly start. I think I think maybe let's start with what is Afri Digital. Mm-hmm. So um, as the founder of Afri Digital, I can summarize that Afri Digital is a platform that allows uh, people to have important conversations around the the fourth industrial revolution and its impact on African economies. Um, we're looking at every sector of the economy, so we're not just focusing on finance or agriculture. Mm-hmm. We're looking everywhere from the creative economy right down to health and how tech has influenced it and how uh, we, I guess, the future of our economy. The future is um, now. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, I guess radio is just all part and parcel of getting the, the message out there. Um, We're going to be talking about some really, really interesting stuff. I think we have a good show lined up for you today. Um, We're going to be looking at tech breakthroughs, which is um, interesting stuff that's happening in the world of tech, not just in Zimbabwe, but Africa and then the world. Um, So we start from the inside going out. And then uh, we also have um, what's called the innovator. What? The innovator in- spotlight. <laughs> yes. Just just give it enough time, guys, and then I'll put in like the nice little drop over there. The innovator spotlight. And uh, that's that's going to be very interesting. I think Innovator Spotlight, we take a look at uh, the young people in Africa who are doing big things in the world of tech and, you know, yeah. just t- just keeping uh, the technology moving one step at a time yeah. on the mother continent. So that's something definitely to uh, look out for. And I like what you had said just now, Aura. You had said we're not just looking at, uh, you know, like agriculture and what have you. We're looking at all sectors. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we say that is because as Afri Digital, uh, every month we have a talk on each, uh, on each of the different sectors yes. uh, that is impacting the Zimbabwean economy. So We've already done a fintech, yeah. and uh, we've also we've also done uh, agritech. Ag- agri-tech. Yeah. And if you want to check that out, you can go on our Facebook page. That's Afri Digital ZW. Check out uh, those um, check check out those live streams. And uh, if you want to be part of any future talks thereafter, we also having a talk on energy uh, later this month, and yes. that's going to be on Thursday, the twenty fifth of July. And it's gonna be it's a, it's a real vibe, guys. If you, I'm gonna tell you right now, be here, be here. You want to be part of the conversation? Yes, so, you do, uh, you do. And you I want... think don't don't think that because you don't work in the energy sector mm-hmm. or that that it doesn't relate to you. Like a lot of people when they when they inquire about it, they'll think, okay, is this only for farmers? Like when we're doing agri tech. Yeah. But it's if you are interested in the future of yeah. where we're going and how technology is changing and how it affects you. Mm-hmm. As long as you're affected by tech, as long as you own a cell phone and yeah. a laptop, or as long as you are connected to the internet somehow, mm. you should be there because these are things that affect us. I mean, everyone right now, power cuts are a real thing. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be talking about alternative sources of energy, um, how best to utilize the resources we have. Does this mean we need to apply blockchain in order to revolutionize the, the energy sector? There's so much to talk about. So um, I hope you make it through. Um, if you do want to participate or if you want to be part of our partners we've got some incredible partners who help us do these events please feel free to get in touch with patrick so that's patrick at abcommunications.co.zw and he can point you in the right shout out to patrick guys he works so hard behind the scenes over there guy yeah he's so, actually in studio tonight he's actually in studio what too. kind of support is that <laughs> can we just like there's like actual support They're actually the whole full team is here tonight which is really really exciting we got girly behind the camera and then uh patrick is just chilling like like giving us the very like he's like watching his clock on some like hurry up keep the schedule keep the schedule um, yeah. but patrick we're excited it's our first show okay so like just to come on. all right 
<laughs> okay, so um, I think let's uh, kick things off uh, with uh, tech breakthroughs, as you just uh, talked about just now. Mm-hmm. And uh, in this segment, we like to look at uh, what uh, what la- what latest technological advances are happening uh, here in Africa on the continent. And yeah. uh, the first one is something that's a little close to home because uh, we're going to be talking about Econet and uh, the news that Econet has adopted uh, Tesla batteries uh, for their base station. So uh, these Tesla blasi- these Tesla batteries, B- rather than Bastleys, come on, <laughs> <laughs> these Tesla batteries are Powerwall 2 fleets or Leon batteries and uh, these batteries are being trialed for the past 12 months and the decision has been made uh, by the executives there at Econet uh, to adopt the backup on a wider scale. So why this is so, uh, especially right now, because we are talking about energy. As yeah. we all know, there have been power cuts here and there and the unfortunate thing <laughs> here is... Here and there, I like that. <laughs> very, 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 very uh, forgiving very, there. Very unforgiving <laughs> there, yeah. uh, So the unfortunate thing is it also does affect some of these base stations like mm-hmm. that uh, carry the Ignite signal over there. So if right. you've noticed that your cell coverage has been kind of going down a little bit, yeah. uh, it's mostly because of that. So uh, Oh, wow. So the power cuts, are you saying that when the power goes that the base station doesn't work? Some of those base stations had been running on diesel and that was like the big ah, thing. And that's why they decided to do the cuts. shift to the Tesla batteries. And uh, these things are pretty, are pretty, are pretty impressive. I'll, I'll tell you that, uh, especially with the charge times and everything, because uh, these feature integrated batteries, inverters and smart controls uh, via the Tesla energy gateway, uh, which also uh, solves a problem in the fact that it, these can also be charged by solar. So even during the day, even if there's no electricity, they guess what? Still... It can still... But then how long do they run for? Uh, these are going to be uh, so are reported uh, to run for up to 18 hours. 18? 18 hours. One eight. One eight at a stretch if it goes from uh, from zero to 100 wow. it can go for up to 18 hours and it's renewable so obviously during if perhaps during the day if power is there then it can charge if it's not there then it's also uh, okay. you know charging itself via, uh, via the sun so essentially what we're saying say it's six o'clock mm-hmm. it's dark if it's cut off from that point and there's no power all the way up until the next day, 6, yeah. 7, 8 a.m., yeah. they'll still be running and then it can charge itself up with solar ah, power. I see. These are, invenish- these are the innovations we need, guys. Hopefully other other networks mm-hmm. will adopt a similar approach. Yeah, um, definitely. It sounds like... But I'm curious as to, like, okay, fine, you brought in Tesla. Everyone knows who Tesla... Well, if you don't know who what Tesla is, Tesla was founded by Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's... Yeah, it's again. Actually, is what he, was it? Yes, is he South Africa? Yeah, he went to Pretoria Boys High. Yeah, okay, South Africa. okay, all right, okay, okay. Well, you're the SA fundi, so I'll just I'll believe you. Yeah. <laughs> but Elon Musk, right? Um, oh, so is it Elon Musk? Like, who? okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so that. anyway, yeah, so Elon um started a founder company called Tesla, and Tesla, most people know Tesla for their cars, which is the electronic cars, mm-hmm. electric cars, sorry. Um, so it's it's a pretty big deal that you go and you invest in tesla batteries but it's also it also makes me wonder don't we have people who know how to make trees i, I think i think it's um <laughs> it's it's always one of those things where you perhaps look at it as like you do want to promote uh, local but then i yeah. suppose if you are a company of a certain level you do want to perhaps have the very best of the best and then i think perhaps this should be a wake-up call to some of the young innovators out there right. like look guys you can it had to uh, went out and got tesla batteries but you're there if you know something to do about something about this yeah uh, try and put yourself put yourself forward put your services forward next time yeah uh, so that they don't skip you because as we said on the Africa digital radio show we're passionate about the future we're passionate about tech so if you're hearing this and you want to be a part of this uh, yeah. next time don't miss out raise your hand and always be uh, yeah. keep your ear close to the ground over there and yeah. it's, it's funny you mentioned that because in Australia as well um, speaking of energy saving solutions anyway yeah. uh, in Australia a company in Australia has uh, decided that they're going to uh, create a, what, what we can call virtual uh, virtual power grids so, I don't understand. What do you so mean? this is smart tech of, a, of, a, of another level so you know how these smart TVs smart fridges smart this smart that or the, uh, or the other mm-hmm. uh, so they've created a program where mm-hmm. if you fit your devices with this smart Tech. So if you if you know that you're gonna be using your deep free if you know that it's using your freezer for example, right? Your freezer doesn't have to be on all the time perhaps necessarily. Right. So your smart tech can pick up. Okay, maybe uh, for four hours a day we can sh- we can switch off this uh, this freezer automatically uh-huh. and then shift the power to be used somewhere else. So this is a virtual power power, power block. So okay. this could be okay. It's we're interesting here. tech. Yeah, it's interesting tech, and okay. it's the the fun thing about it mm-hmm. is that it can be applicable anywhere and everywhere. And this is a great energy saving solution. So again, young innovators, if you're hearing this, we could use some of that in Zimbabwe right now. Hey. So is it up and running? Is it it's like up and it's running. working? It's working. Uh, it's in. Uh, Melbourne, if I'm not mistaken, and where they're okay. doing the trial runs, and they're looking to perhaps push it to a wider, to a wider national scale, and that's something that's. 
fascinating. Fascinating. You know, you know I, I, I wonder, um, is it not an issue then? Like, why, why aren't we ahead? Is, is, what's the biggest issue? Is it, is it, is it a matter of funding? Like, why, why aren't we developing? <laughs> why, why, why are we here, guys? What's happening? Why are we not? Like, Again, I think I'll what try to play the perhaps like the devil's advocate and the voice of reason. I think sometimes with a lot of these things, like yeah. we're talking about, you know, how we said, okay, Econet perhaps was uh, had to, uh, or they imported tested batteries. Mm. Uh, a lot of the time, maybe people don't know where to look in the right places. Right. I think that could be one thing. Right. Uh, I think also when it comes to this uh, smart uh, smart tech that we've, t- we've talked about here in Australia, I think a lot of the stuff is also just letting the other people, the people higher up, know yeah. that, hey, there's this available. We can implement this at a government level and right. it can save us so much money right. so uh, can what what do you think about it i think it's just also just letting each other know that okay. there's this and there's this type of opportunity going on so uh yeah you can take that uh you can take that with a with a pinch of salt however which, which way you mm-hmm. want to do it uh so that's something we can also definitely be looking out for uh, in the near future there well seeing that you've mentioned that um i find it interesting how just very very quickly mm-hmm. um in it's East Africa, yeah? Yeah, East uh, Africa. Microsoft, Microsoft has um, put out a hundred million dollars, yes? hundred yeah, million. hundred uh, million dollars. US dollars. US dollars. Uh, yes. <laughs> hundred million um, for innovation within the tech sector, mm-hmm. uh, to fund the tech sector within East Africa. Um, I'm hoping something like that, uh, an investment like that, um, I do feel with startups the biggest issue is often around funding and support so i'm hoping that if we have if we start getting cash injections hopefully it will start trickling down to us here in the south (laughs) but hopefully we can start creating solutions um for africans by africans because i'm all for solutions Mm -hmm. but i feel like we need to start creating our own solutions now like i think no, it's well no, no definitely because i think a big part of that's the fact that uh, well, why they invested in africa so much is that mm. africa's youth uh they're digitally inclined mm-hmm. and i think there's an estimated uh, 636 million smartphone users that will be in africa by the end of uh, 2020 uh, sure. that's just an estimate so you can tell that where the direction and the shift that uh, you know tech is taking in africa yeah. and i think uh, uh, microsoft as prudent as they are they're coming in with like okay we're a multi-billion dollar company let's just give you a hundred million to play around with a little bit yeah uh see what you can do with here's that. some change here's to change and <laughs> eventually eventually it's, they're gonna keep investing because i think okay. that is their commitment that they're making to the african continent that you know what um where we want we're, we're interested in the youth of africa africa has got one of the youngest populations in the world mm. uh so we definitely want to invest in the future here and again like we said this is another call to you young innovators microsoft has got money and they're trying to make innovations <laughs> so definitely do look that up here's here's because you know I'm, you know i'm always like i don't know whether i'm a devil devil's advocate um my significant other calls me hard-headed and stubborn <laughs> the jamba <specialist. laughs> jambanja specialist yes but my question though is okay fine you've given us 100 milli mm-hmm. right but what's in it for you like how much what what percentage of ownership will they have over the projects that they fund or how much say do they have over the products that are being developed it's awesome mm-hmm. yay look i'm not one to say no don't give us your money yeah. however what is the caveat like what what is you know okay i've given you money but like i'm curious to know if anyone knows what the but is mm-hmm. like i wonder i wonder like this okay. money, what at what cost are we right. receiving? I think this, this is uh, this falls under Microsoft's uh, social outreach program. In okay. a sense. So what they're doing is they're going to give uh, uh, employ a team of engineers and developers uh, for projects uh, that will work with uh, those who've been uh, given like a grant or what have you to work on whatever projects here in Africa. Right. Uh, they will be overseeing that, and essentially what they're saying is like, look, we're making this investment. If you've got a great technological innovation, or if you feel that you can work in this field and help Microsoft services better in this in such a way, then you can come through and i think that's how they're they're viewing it they're not necessarily say okay we're giving you this and then we want it back they're saying no it's an investment that's what it is right now so shout outs to microsoft why not <clears throat> okay it's fine <laughs> speaking of money um yeah. there is definitely a kid who i think um deserves a cool hundred milli and that's our uh innovator spotlight techie for mm-hmm. today um the incredible uh incredibly gifted and Semi spooky kid. <laughs> he's kind of spooky. I'll explain why he's spooky uh, a bit later. But this kid's name is Winfrey Mere, 19 years old. And what did he do? 
tell us. All Did right, you know? so this 19 year old, Winfrey Mede, he designed a homemade generator that uses uh, used oil, waters and, water, and batteries as essential components to run the generator. So, you know, we were, we were saying that's just incredible. Like, yeah. he's 19 years of age and he just made, he saw there was a problem, yeah. there was no power, yeah. and he tried to come up with the, so the cost effective uh, solution. And uh, the great, the, the, the amazing thing about that is that Winfrey, uh, his highest educational qualification he went he went up to grade seven that was that but that did not stop him yeah. at all he yeah. kept on going he kept on pushing and he did big things and we actually got a chance to catch up with winfrey uh so let's just hear from him really 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 quickly and then we just continue to discuss uh, you know the big things that he's doing right now she <laughs> And the I switch as a in few, but you know jamba. Why jamba? What to see a road runner, my was all good. Neguti Munum Nick, I'm now Nedam the Orim Shago Magit. I guess I'm going to mark four Maxine, what's the one at two AM. Saga it is generated and we do part no do part down or to no consult but to know a quantity of water. All right, wow. so that was Winfrey made it. Just you know, wow. breaking it down and like what for I was those saying, maybe who don't understand mm-hmm. what he was saying is that basically what he was saying is that he has um, decided he decided to build this generator because power was an issue. Yeah, uh, where he was, and um, it's really difficult, um, also expensive to a degree to get to the fuel to run a proper generator, and he he decided to create a generator that runs off used used oil Mm -hmm. um because obviously that's a lot easier to come across than uh, diesel so from that point he then decided okay let me do this and create something that works and he did it Mm -hmm. and okay here's here's why i i think he's spooky so i asked him right i asked him i said okay winfrey how did you okay fair and fine you did your grade seven uh, you finished grade seven. He wasn't um, due to social economic challenges. He wasn't able to pursue his uh, education beyond grade seven. And I asked him, "How did you, how did you, how did you learn to build this Jenny?" Yeah. And uh, he basically said that uh, he was told he was instructed in a dream. Wow. So I was low key like, <laughs> <laughs> I was low key spook like I don't. I don't understand what he, he, what do you he, mean he, he saw it in his dreams and uh, you know fair fair enough to him uh, in my dreams I see you know me playing PlayStation and what have you and I also get up and I live my dream to the fullest like that as wow. well wow. him building a generator of course that's those another are new levels. that's a, those are new levels but just a little <laughs> more on the technical aspects of that generator mm-hmm. uh, it's charged um, it's charged by by seven point uh, by three point seven volts, uh, which generates up to uh, forty eight volts uh, that can switch on a light or and charge your phone at the same time. And he used one hundred dollars uh, to build the generator, one hundred US dollars to build the generator. And he believes that with more money, that he can obviously build more cost saving generators, much like this one. And you know, I think for that reason alone, like we said, that's why he's on Innovator Spotlight for today. Yeah. And um, great news about Winfrey as well. If you liked his story and you want to see him in the flesh, he'll be appearing at our Afri Digital Talk a little later this month. You know, the one we yes. talked about a little earlier on in the show. Yep. Uh, the 25th of July. If you want to be there and you want to see him in free, see what he's all about, get to hear from the man. Yeah. Uh, that'll be happening here at 7 Kenworth Road, Newlands, Harare at ZFM Stereo. So yeah. uh, definitely that's something to look out for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
I'm excited to hear. Oh, he'll be bringing his Jenny as well, yeah. which should be interesting. He'll be bringing bringing his generator, and hopefully we're gonna be able my phone to. In the morning now, wow, finally. wow, yes, thank you wow. Shame. for that, guys. Shame. <laughs> some of us, some of us, you know. Let me not say anything because karma is not kind. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see his generator. I'm excited to see it at work. We're hoping to power the sound system with this generator. So, um, yeah, it's, it'll be a true test as to uh, what what he can accomplish. I'm I'm excited about that. So, um. That's been pretty much our show for today. Um, short and sweet, I think. I think it's kind we of dope. have to leave so soon, guys. I think we have to. You know, also, I mean, um, hopefully as time goes, if you like the show, please feel free to give us feedback. If you have any suggestions, um, you know, this is really more of just our introduction. Um, and we have so much planned for you. We have incredible guests lined up for the next few weeks. Uh, but for this one, we thought, let's just get to know you. Um, and let's just, let's just feel it out i guess you know if we suck feel free to tell us too <laughs> but i don't think we suck um so visit us on all our social media platforms um so that's at afri digital the w um and um feel free to hit us up um also we encourage um innovators to get out there so our page is not just for us yeah. um it's also if you have any incredible ideas if you if you know someone who's doing something really incredible and innovative we have so many hubs here in zimbabwe we have um, the tech hub in here in Harare. We have Tech Village in Bulawayo. We have all sorts of centers around the country. So we have all the centers and the hubs. There's enough. There's enough. <laughs> we have all of it. We have all of it. So, so if you know of someone, if you are within, um, if you are part of the future global workforce if you are part of the fourth industrial revolution if you are doing things to change the world that we live in please please feel free to just just like go ahead and spam our inbox we're ready to read all your messages <laughs> and again uh if you're interested in any of the afri digital events as well as our calendar you can uh, email patrick at abcommunications.co.zw and also keep an eye out for our website which is exciting that's coming yay the website <sighs> mama we made it <laughs> Anyway, it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, please stay tuned in to ZFM Stereo, my station, your station, the hottest radio in town. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait for next week and I hope you'll tune in. Please do tune in, guys. And uh, please also do stay tuned for Larry Kuirai on the platform who's up next right now.